in the centre of Beirut today. It's my last day in Lebanon. Uh, um, so I want to offer a few thoughts. Uh, I haven't made a video for a couple of days because I've actually been ill. Uh, last time I spoke, we were on the way to Tripoli, which I got to. Uh, it's the second city of Lebanon. It's a big, dirty, noisy, really poor city. Uh, what struck me most of all is just how Lebanon doesn't seem to be one country at all, but a series of separate statelets. And whereas Bashari and the mountains was almost Balkan, um, Tripoli felt truly Middle Eastern and very, very sunny. Um, I'm in Beirut now. Beirut is the mixing place. It's where they all meet. Uh, and it, I mean, the outskirts I've talked about before, a bit of a cross between Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. But the centre is quite pleasant, they've done it up. Um, it doesn't have a great deal of evidence of the thousands of years of history, but what is nice is this area around here, and I'm just going to show you that. There's a sort of commotion going on, some people waving the Lebanese flag, and there's a bit of a battle. I don't quite really know what that's all about. But um, what, if you have a look, You've got the, uh, the church there in the foreground. That's the Greek Orthodox Cathedral, and right behind is the main mosque. And there's also the main Maronite Cathedral there. And there are a few cities where you see so many religions in close proximity. Um, this square itself is actually very much French colonial. Um, the clock tower there, a bit Art Deco style, that was built by the French. And it really is a meeting of uh, Lebanon's recent history, if nothing else. And as is that flag, which I don't know why they're waving, but it's a special national day. But uh, it's rather pleasant. There does seem to be members of all the different communities there. I've really enjoyed my trip to Lebanon. I think it's, it's a beautiful little country and there's a lot to see. I wish I had spent an extra week here um, because I, I feel I've only seen half of it, literally the top half. Um, and there's plenty, plenty to come back and see, which is quite surprising considering it's such a small place. Um, the downsides is the crass overdevelopment and, uh, you know, the apartment blocks everywhere and the real dirt and filth in some of the suburbs, and particularly Tripoli was a very dirty city, which may have contributed to me getting ill, although I think the main reason was actually uh, uh, food poisoning. Um, but the, the upside is that people are extremely friendly, no matter which community uh, you speak to. Um, I really rarely come across such friendly people uh, and most speak a degree of English so it's quite easy to communicate with them and of course there's such uh, a wealth of history it's it's really beautiful um, I'm just a bit disappointed that I uh, got uh, food poisoning the other day because um, it, it did impact my enjoyment of Tripoli I didn't see as much as I wanted but what I did manage to do is explore the soups with the uh, with Alex and um, we, we went to a hammam which was really nice, one of the most evocative hammams I've ever been to um, and there was really a taste of, if not the Ottoman Empire, but it's Mamluk time uh, and we ended up by going to a fantastic mosque um, yeah. Ab yeah, absolutely incredible but anyway, this is Beirut and I may see you a bit more later but if I, until then, keep travelling